welcome back to Rugby Games Mad Monday. We, we just uh, trying to sort the mics out. If you've got any problems with glistens whatsoever, we've got brand new mics, so we are tweaking it as we go along. Turn this one right up time. We'll see, see where it can go to. Um, so, tonight we're going to play a game. First game of the night, Tyre. Who am I? This is, uh, for, for you boys, uh, newbies to the show, it is a pretty pretty terrible game, to be honest. It's it's that terrible, it's, it's half decent. I know the tweet I'm going to send anyway, so... <laughs> 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 this is a game. Game. Yeah. Oh, game. This is a game that I never give an answer <laughs> for, because <laughs> Right, we need uh, teams, so uh, Kelvin and Keith as team one. All right. Come on, Gaz and Simo, team, team two. Team B. Team B. Right. <laughs> Why thought you just asked us all? Sure. It's, it's a new style, you've not played this one yet, Keith. No, 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 no. How exciting. Right, Taya. Do you want to hand the pens and papers out for us? Chip, 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 one, two. Make sure you Let's go. Right, pens and papers at the ready. We, 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 we shocked it out this week for this one. Right, I'm going to name some clubs that a certain person's played for. You've just got to tell me who has played for these clubs. Write them down or shout them out. Oh, write them down, discuss it with your partner. Right. Right. Write it down. That might be better. Ah. These clubs, no. these clubs are in no particular order. Echo, echo. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> are we ready? Number one, who has played for Wakefield, Huddersfield, Bradford and Hull KR? And they are all current Super League players playing w at present. Wakefield. We've so got to just mention, list all the players. No, 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 it's one player. One, one, one player <laughs> has played for Wakefield, Huddersfield, Bradford and Hull KR. If yes, no one, I know it. If no one gets it right, when we go through the answer at the end, I'll give you a little clue and then you just shout out for so the guests. My team's bothered. Skelton's yes. already said that he's not yes. watched any Super League this season. <laughs> one nil. And I, have it. Well, that's it. I love having Cavs with me. He's if my you've friend. Got it, it's game over. Yeah, well, what's going on? He might have got it wrong. Right, number two. No. Who has played for Wakefield, Hunslet, Doncaster, and Hull KR twice? Wakefield, Hunslet, Doncaster, and Hulky are twice. That's an easy one. Hmm. I know this. Yeah, I think I do. Yes. Yeah. Wakefield, Hunslet, Doncaster, and Hulky are twice. Boom. Two nil. Two nil. <laughs> we got an answer, Keith. Yeah. yeah. Come on, next one. It does look next one. Number three. <laughs> Come on, Zach. Who has played for <laughs> Salford, <laughs> New Zealand Warriors? What is? <laughs> <laughs> I say it on purpose now like that. No, Hull FC, Wigan, and they've also represented New Zealand. So they played for Salford, New Zealand, Hull FC, and Wigan. Mm. Woody is. You, you must know this, guys. Mm. Hull FC, it's a, it's a Kiwi. Give us a position. That, what's, his, uh, well, what's his position, should I say? Give us a clue. Is a prop. Oh, you must have this guy. You've probably played no, with him. I'm struggling here. Um, I think I know. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, I do know it actually. <laughs> right, moving on to number four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who has played for Castleford twice, Hull FC, Bradford, and also represented Yorkshire, England A, England, and Great Britain? <laughs> He's got that tone that just sends you to sleep, doesn't he? <laughs> the wooden man. You need to shorten these questions up because we're nodding off. Okay, Castleford twice, yeah. Hull FC, Bradford, Yorkshire, England A, England and Great Britain. And they're playing now today. And they're still playing today. Wow. Played this yeah. weekend. Who for? Hey. Nice try. <laughs> Castleford twice. Struggling here, Keith, aren't we? We are struggling. <laughs> There'll be someone now screaming at radio, won't they? <laughs> right then, we'll move on to number five. Who has played for Halifax, Hull KR, Salford, Wigan, Huddersfield, and also played for England and Great Britain? Played for Halifax, Hull KR, Salford, Wigan, Huddersfield, 
England and Great Britain. Next question. <laughs> That's the last one. Played for Halifax, Hull KR, Salford, one. Wigan, Huddersfield, England and Great Britain. Huddersfield, Salford. Halifax, Huddersfield and Salford. <laughs> right, let's move on. Right then, that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's what, that's what your answer is. Halifax, Huddersfield, and Salford. Yes. So we're somewhere either at Salford or Huddersfield now. Moving on now, because we're going. Moving on now. You've got three answers anyway. We've yeah, got no, not That's it. So we'll start. Uh, we'll go through the answers. What? Number one. Oh. Swap answers because these are cheap. Right, number one, who has played yeah, for Wakefield, Huddersfield, Hudson, Bradford and Hull KR? You can't read his writing. Nobody. Uh, what does that say? That says Luke George. Luke George. Luke George. Luke George, have you got an answer, Keith? No. No, nope, the answer is Luke George. Shitting. One nil. <laughs> <laughs> number two, who has played for Wakefield, Hunslet, Doncaster and Hull KR twice? Benka Kane. We've both got Kane. Kane. Benka Kane. Benka Kane is the correct answer. Yeah, yes. we've both got that. 2-1. Two, one. That. Two, one. <laughs> Two, one. Two, one. <laughs> Who has played for Salford, New Zealand, what, no. what it, New Zealand, Hull FC and Wigan? Oh, you have yeah. got that. That's 3-2. Ficker. Ficker. You both got... Yeah, yeah, we had that, yeah. We had that. I think there's a bit of cheating going on there, Keith. Pen scribbling. Yeah, that's what that says. It's same as yours. It's Paliasina. That's 3-2. Go on. 3-1. 3-2. Number four. This is wrong. Who has played for Castleford twice, Hull FC, Bradford, representing Yorkshire, England A, England and Great Britain. Andy Lynch. I said that. It's a moment, have it? Have you got an answer, Keith? He's not playing for Great Britain, has he? Andy Lynch. Who? He has. He hasn't. Has he? Andy Lynch. Is yes! Nice! Oh. Yeah, I knew that. Has a long time ago. Britain? He's not played for Great Britain. He has. Has he? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Google it, you dog. He has not played for Great <laughs> Britain. So you've no. just got on, on uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. He has not played for I Great Britain. I do my own Wikipedia. Anyone could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Wikipedia. It's he's not like, played for Great Britain. As Lee Smith found out. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a text. Someone text him. Can anyone find out has Andy Lynch played for Great Britain? And, and Andy Lynch, uh, we got it right anyway. So it's yeah, no, it's so right. Four nil. It's all about the end result. Four two. We got it. Yeah, yeah, won. <laughs> right, last one. Who has played for Halifax, Hull KR, Salford, Wigan, Huddersfield, England, and maybe Great Britain, maybe not. Hodgson. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? David Hodgson. Winger. Winger. David. Ginger David. Flyer. Have you, have you got that written down? No, no, yeah, we don't yeah, have that. No, yeah, but no, it is five, five we got. <laughs> No. It is David Hodgson. Well done. So we, right, so we won that one. I'll, I'll have a win there. 4 3, well done, Four, three. Alex. Well done, Keith, lads. Keith, <laughs> carry, carry on with the old gaming reviews. Let's get them, let's get them crack through. I'm going to sort the mics out. Uh, OKR okay, Bradford. Uh, OKR okay, 16, Bradford nil. 12 nil at half time. Another tier of the, the stats here. According to last week, we've seen that there were total dominance. Uh, Bradford were just totally outplayed in that game. Even though this was quite a close game, you just look at the stats. Uh, Meters going forward, 1595 to, to OKR, 902 to Bradford. Uh, so they're not doing any carries, and it shows in the carries, 240 to 158. So obviously there's, there's a big difference there. Tackles, 304 to OKR, 370 to, uh, to Bradford. So it's, it's a tear of, of the stats there, but the good, you know, taking a positive out of it, the, the, the score was only 16 0, and by the looks of it, they've, they've either been dropping the ball or yeah, they've just not been very there. creative. Well, you know. I, think, I think the thing with Bradford obviously they've struggled with losing players and things like that, you know. But, but <laughs> you are the downfall. <laughs> no, <laughs> you bankrupt them with your big wage and then you've left them in the crap. <laughs> I doubt that. But no, it, to, to be honest, you know, the, the team that they've got there, it's, it's the most together I've, you know, with anyone I've ever been involved with, so it's. It's just a case of getting a few players. I think they're getting a few on loan and things, but you know, they're down to the bare bones. It's, they're they're going to struggle. It's uh, just one of those things. It's a shame because there's some really good players there at the minute. Yeah, you know, yeah, there there's is. a squad. There's some really yeah. good individuals as well. Yeah, Fran Fran is a good coach as well, and you know, they've, they've got some good staff there. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just 
with all the turmoil going on, I think it's uh, it's definitely having an effect on on the field. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but hopefully that'll be all dusted. Guys, if I, if I got fit, would would you come back to Bradford and play with me, me no. and you? Yeah, we'll start when we win lottery. We'll we'll start as own team. Bradford Bullets. R- rugby AM, <laughs> rugby AM team. Keith, we'll bring him back to our retirement. Even with a bad knee, you'll just say to people, don't go out on Keith's knee. <laughs> I'll do, you play I'll in the do, Masters where you play with the gold shorts, which you're not allowed to do tackles on them. So I'll do three minutes stints. Three minutes? That long? Mate. I don't think you've even got that in you. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, mate. I'll, I, I'll do it. He's got one run. I've got one now. I've got more. It's a good one, though. It's a good one. <laughs> I, I, I tried to play on, su- on Sunday. No one wanted to play. On Saturday, no one wanted to play. Go on, so you, you keep on talking. <laughs> 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 you don't let coach play for yeah. Keep on mate, talking I'll about it. Right. I'll win it. I'll, I'll win it for you. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I, I live and breathe every run. <laughs> I, on Sunday, the first time I won the picture with the boys, because uh, Dave, the, the head coach, he were away doing a charity run for his dad in memory of his dad. So I, I went on the pitch with him and I, I was so fired up. We had this referee, we played West Leeds, which is just around the corner, and we had this, this woman referee. Um, she came into the change room and she's like, yeah, we're not playing handing off point. Rugby love. What do you mean playing handing off? And I was like, no, 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 we can't hand off yeah, under eight. So I'm like, all right, no worries. So she went, I don't, I don't think we'll play knock-ons. So I went, are you having a laugh? It's rugby. <laughs> started carrying on and like, all parents are looking at me like oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> and one of the parents a guy called Mick really really good bloke and his son is definitely our best player um, and he's he's been refereeing the last few games and like I've been giving him it like properly giving him it and every, after every single game I have to go up and go Oh, sorry about today, but it's got a bit involved, you don't know? You are yeah, one yeah, of yeah, them yeah, nightmare yeah, supporters yeah, on touchline, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am. It's, it's better that I'm on the pitch because I've, I've got something to do. On the touchline, I'm an absolute nightmare. So, but on the bench, I get the, bo- the, the boys fired up and, and they're getting involved, so it's good. What, what age did you start playing camps? Uh, I was, oh, five, I started at Rugby Union, actually, at, at Morley. What, 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 what? Yes, yes, posh, you see. Posh, well, posh in Morley. But, uh, yeah, That's start <laughs> started at five, uh, playing Rugby Union, and then played Rugby League from about seven at uh, Cherwell. So I, I used to play Saturday and Sunday up until about 15, then chose... Uh, Chose rugby league where the money isn't. <laughs> no. that, what a mistake that, to that, make. Honestly, that's what I mean. <laughs> you look back on it. <laughs> but you've kept no, your good looks, though. Obviously, yeah. You if you've been a is. forward in Union, you'd have, uh, you'd have lost those, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't, well, I'm not, I think he, more rugged, I think. I'd have been rugged good looks instead of, <laughs> instead of babyish good looks. But that's, yeah. that's why I didn't want to play rugby league, because I didn't want to ruin. Yeah, obviously, my, no, my no, good looks. Are you trying to say you're a sore sure then? Yeah, <laughs> <good choice. laughs> well, well, <laughs> How big headed are you? <laughs> funny, you should, <laughs> funny you should say you're a sore because <laughs> yes. you, you are you are actually a gay icon, Kelvin. How, how, is it, how does it feel to be a gay icon? Good, you know, more the merrier. Male or female, if you're, um, if, yeah, if you're interested, then yeah, welcome it. He's single. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyone. He'll have anyone. Anyone. <laughs> did, did, did you. Did you because you've done some gay magazine shoots. No, I think first I was I was asked to do a, a testicular cancer um, campaign, and that was a naked uh, a naked photo did shoot. You get so. your lad out. Yeah, I was there. I was naked when I did it. It was actually at a laundrette in Chapel Town, <coughs> of all places. Um, we did the shoot and did not even close it off to everyone else. So the, the normal general public could go in and do the laundry as we were doing this photo shoot. So I was at the bottom. Big and black women and in it was Chapel freezing. Town. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they're used to seeing. Slightly bigger insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and mine were there. I was just, you know, and the photographer was g- great. He, you know, he tried to relax me as, as best as he could. And he said, you know, don't worry about it. Why did you need relaxing? There she is. Well. <laughs> Good job, Jones. He's not hearing it. So, <laughs> you know, I think that's where the uh, maybe the the, um, the 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 gay fans I, I might have uh, probably thought, you know, this lad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the roofs of the roofs are fire. Yeah. Were it cold? It was cold that day. It was freezing yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. freezing. But no, it was for a good. I was a bit of a cliche, but it was for a good cause and to raise awareness. You know, for the sake of me getting my kit off to hopefully raise awareness and save save someone's life in, in the long run. When you know was uh, was more than worth it. So. Fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Um, Keithy, we've got two more games to do. Let's fire for them. Yeah, we'll do the Wakefield 16, St. Ellen's 24. 10-4 uh, at half-time. Wakefield being surprised package of the, of the season so far. Our old mate, Paul McShane, scooting from dummy half to score a try. 
uh, really giving them a lot of direction but the try that he scored St Helens will be massively disappointed from it uh, some slack defence you know when a hooker gets out of dummy half and scores from the try line it's a, it's a bit of a cardinal sin for the defence to let such an easy try in but you know I think two top quality teams there St Helens up there with the you know with the performers of the season so far and surprisingly Wakefield as well you know Richard agar has got them playing really well and and, uh, and got the lead second team playing playing well as a team. Yeah. <laughs> Good mate of mine, uh, Mark Flanagan, made his comeback actually on that game. Yeah. Uh, he played really well, yeah. So he's been uh, been playing, I think, with Rochdale the last few weeks. So Flash made a, a comeback and uh, I think he went pretty well as well. He's Flash. a bit of a sort as well, isn't he? So yeah, he's a good sort. Well, he's from Oldham, together. eh? All lads from Oldham are good right. sorts. We've got, we've got a picture we're going to tweet out in a bit, Kelvin. And it's about, um, it's about male celebrities waking up with a male celebrity. Okay. Um, and it, and Tommy Burgess sent me and he says, ask, ask Kelvin how this picture got on Twitter. All right, okay, I don't know what picture that is. Picture Am it, I uh, going to lose my job here? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and Tommy been quite uh, famous for tweeting certain pictures. Of That's Georgie. Yeah. Naughty. <clears throat> I think George, there was a picture of George released uh, of him with no clothes on, not for charity that on that, on that yeah, occasion. Yeah. I've yeah. actually got one of Sam actually on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show it to you. Don't show it to you. Zach. Hi Zach. Last but not least in the games, Keith. Yeah, moving on to Salford uh, 23, Castleford 16, 10-6 at half time. Salford actually getting the first win of the season, getting a win of the season. Uh, well, a try for, for Salford. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Salford totally shut down then. Uh, break, break through a, a simple tap, and uh, that was at the back end of the game and showed a little bit of looseness, I think, from Salford. But Rangie Chase back in the side added, an, added another dimension, I think, to the to the Salford attack and, and just showed what an important linchpin he is. And I think Tim Smith isn't quite gelling in that team, uh, and it's, it's been good for him to get Rangie Chase back to dictate a little bit. And I like all the enthusiasm that the Salford players started to generate. You could see in the first half they were scoring tries, there were plenty of back slapping, uh, you know, and, and, and it was great to see to see him sort of like gelling and getting getting on well together. Uh, but obviously Castleford have been performing really well and uh, a well matched performance from both teams. It's it, it, it's funny because you know when people review games for League Weekly, do they actually go to games? I need to know it because Rangie Chase was given man at match. But then he the didn't get the top rating. How does that work? I was, I was, I've actually done some research this week and I've, I've read the paper and Randy got like a seven and they were like two eights. Oh, Tudor. Yeah, they do actually, they do go to the games. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Rangi, Rangi coming back for Salford is massive. Um, Melly's on his way back, Gazok's on his way back. Do you think, do you think Salford can mount a real challenge this year, Keith? So you, you are hypercritical. I am, yes. It'd be great uh, for the game if they do. Do you think it would? It, would it? Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. You, you get most, probably, Keith might disagree, I don't know. He's the Leeds lad through and through. So, But I think it'd be great for the game for uh, for Salford to come out and and really start winning and uh, dominating. Um, I think that the Kukash guy is, I've not met him, but <clears throat> from what I, from what I can see on his, he's obviously very well outspoken. I think he's brilliant for the game. He's going to bring some well, well-deserved money, inject some money. Um, some profile, and uh, you know the, he's a, he's a great testament for the game. He's certainly doing a better job, in my opinion, than the likes of Nigel Wood and people like that at the top of the RFL. The yeah, the I think that's of the game. thing. He's brought a lot of yeah, profile yeah. to the game, yeah, which is great for media interest in that. His ethos yeah. about it, though, he wants to. In, in his eyes, he sees it as the best sport in the world, played by the best blokes in the world, and and he wants to put it on the where it belongs on, on the top, you know, pinnacle. So yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, someone like that just really raises the profile, doesn't it? It's, for the game, it's just a shame his missus couldn't get Bradford. You know that's uh, yeah, that's the thing. It'd been good to have uh, another Heather in. They are trying to take over the Revolution, aren't they? Tired. Yeah. His brother was after Swinton yeah, as well. As well, yeah, yeah, that's so, true, so. It is. Uh, yeah, it'd be good though. It'd be good for rugby league. You know, there's not enough money in. If you, you find the clubs that have got, you know, the the best teams tend to have millionaire backers. You know, that's so sort of, the more people like that, the merrier. I think it's, it's, it's only going to be good for the only going to be good for the game, isn't it? Surely. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he seems like a bit of a maverick, a bit of a mad, mad keezer, but I think I think he's great for the game. Uh, and he's, if his missus gets involved, I'd love to get him on here doing Mr and Mrs, that'd be quality. <laughs> I, think. I reckon he'd do it as well. I said, well, to Jones. I reckon, I reckon he'd come and on. Long, sure. Longy said he'd do it. Longy said he'd come on. And uh, yeah, I think, I think it'd be quality for the is game. He, is he an actual doctor? 
Oh, is he? Oh, well. He's, he's, he's just injects horses. Like John's been saying, he got, he got his, his doctorate for engineering or something like that. Yeah, he's not a doctor. As I'm, well. a doctor. Right. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I've got a PhD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've right, yeah, got the doctorate. You are? I am a doctor. What in? Love. Boom. <laughs> options open, options, options open. Still single, still single. I thought you were quitting. I'm not quitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this roof's falling, roof's falling in, in tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know me, Keith, it's, uh, it's uh, carried on. I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Uh, right, we're going sure. uh, to play one more tune, then it's Knowing Me, Knowing You time. If you want any questions, we need to get all the fans' questions in tonight. We get loads coming through, but keep them coming in. We're going to get through quite a few of them with... Uh, Kelvin and Cavs tonight. Remember, no holes bad at rugbyam.co.uk and tweet us at rugbyam. <laughs> 